please enjoy my playthrough of Soma. It was recorded on my Twitch with the, the link to it in the description. We had a lot of fun in the streams, and I hope you'll enjoy these bite-sized pieces of the stream. Uh, Soma was completed in a two-stream span, one day after the other. So, some things will have a bit of continuity errors, but uh, I hope you enjoy nonetheless. Alright, game mode. Normal, of course. Monsters are dangerous and can kill you. You need to think and sneak to survive. Oh, awesome. It's a stealth game. It's a game where I have to sneak around. Perfect. I, I, I can't just get a Glock. Not an Alpha GX is no problem. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. That, Here, take that's this. not nothing. That's very no, that, bad. That's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munchie? Why is there never enough time? For what? Damn, David got him killed. No, he's in bed. He's fine. Oh, please don't tell me motion blur. Oh, God, the motion blur. Please don't tell yeah, me it's proper. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain <laughs> Munchie. I remember. All right, Munchie, all right? let's yeah, go. Yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah. That's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay, good, the motion blur's gone. Oh, thank God. Uh, how's the sensitivity? I'm totally not stalling a little bit. better. Nope. On, please. Oh, cool. Has the amnesia. Checking. Hey, Simon. It's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? I have no idea what this is. 712, okay. Go soon, love mom, thanks mom. This is a big USB. And apparently my computer doesn't work with USBs. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I realize I can interact, I'm throwing shit around as much as I can. It, it's it's what I do. Munchie, not munchie. Okay. Hey David. Subject Neural Graph Session. 30th of April 2015. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are guests, since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I'll try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when it's confirmed. New prescription. Dear M Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how uh, well, it has adjusted to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, over the coming months at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Parazin uh, to help with your nightmares. I want to see part of the screen. The email's going off the edge. Whoops. Let me fix that for you guys. There you go. Is that better? Oh, 
awesome. Still er too early to tell how, uh, oh, 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 uh, since help with your nightmares, please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get lots of rest, and we'll see you in a week. Sincerely, Dr. Aaron Keith. Jesse, the grimoire. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Well, hit send. Subject, Saturday off. Date May 1st. Okay, so we're not too far off on this. Hey, Jesse, since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I got the doctor's appointment tomorrow. I am not coming to work. This means uh, you need to make sure you're actually on time to open the store and please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They're starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, the books tend to sell much better if you put them on shelves where people can actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it, Simon. Wow, okay. You, you definitely should have sent this yesterday. Better late than never. I mean, I guess. So far, using it. Does seem cool. Uh, I for when I'm not, uh, well, rather for when I am streaming, I use um, Brave, and then when I am not streaming, I just use Chrome. Neat picture. Another neat picture. Hmm. As for the tracer fluid. Alright, he's a nerd, understood. I don't want to see your feet pics, thank you though. Ah, oh, so coming. much better. Hope it's Actually, good. I, I didn't mean to be mean to you. Oh, no, I said I didn't mean to be mean to you. No! Buddy, get out of there. Oh, he's dead. I killed him. Oh! Is there a way to turn things? Has to be. Ah, there we go. Hey, friend. You can sit right there for now. Uh, oh, that's a checkbook I yeeted. Javi Jackson, a dog? I am terrified. No glass breaking physics, that's a shame. One year in H13, nice. Come on, throw these away, my guy. Come on. Jesus, making a mess of the house. Come on, throw him away. <laughs> God, I fucking hate that. The fact that this is a situation I might be in where I need to open up something like this. I hate that. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Alright. A little better. Mapping minds. I'll slow some text on that. So he's basic. We've learned that. Look at those noises. Jesus, this place is noisy. Come on. Doesn't look like there's anything I'm noting there.
Hmm. Wait, hold on. What was the name on this? Robin. I'm McGee. What's my name? Simon. Okay, so that's not my book. I think I'm a book writer, right? Is that the meme here? I write books, got into a car crash. You're eating tiny pizzas? Fan pizzas, yeah. Alright, fair. Those are good. God, who keeps putting all this stuff in my way? Anyway. Yeah, I just work at a bookstore. Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Okay, I need to stop stalling. Got meds. Flowers for funerals, so someone died. Jarrett's my last name, okay. I'm wasting food, right? I'll wait. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put this back. I think this one refuses to leave. This though. What the fuck is this? This what I don't even know what that is. should drink the tracer fluid before I go see Dr. Munchie. Tracer fluid, I... I figured the tracer fluid was in the bathroom, right? Not be in there? It's much easier to get around if there wasn't all this stuff in my way. I hope no transformations, because that's going to be horrifying. I'll see a race right through down there. I, I have not made a mess. a red bottle, right? How how the fuck have I missed it? I've literally clicked on everything to throw everything. There's literally no way I could have missed it. Oh my god. Put, throw away your trash. Stop throwing things everywhere. Jesus. That texture supposed to be like that? That hair? Oh, it's the leaves. Oh. Oh. Take care of your plant, my guy. I've already opened up all that, haven't I? Yeah. Well, if I clicked on it, it would inter it would make me interact with it. There it is. Oh. What? No, I I haven't opened this up. How? Uh, whatever. 
Downtown accident kills young woman. Driver distracted by her children ran to a red light, causes her to blindside a car in the intersection. The mother and her children left us in. Ooh, we uh we we have we have killed someone with our driving. I don't want to drink this. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. That's awful. <laughs> Thank you for the sub for that. It's very difficult puzzle. I'm, I'm glad I was able to handle that puzzle. Now the next nine hours of this game will go super smoothly. Jesse. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time, working the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. I hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. It's all a lie. It's a stinking awful lie. What's a lie, my guy? Now you all, in these types of games, you always listen to the random homeless people. They have important knowledge. <laughs> Hold on. Hello? Yeah, Dr. Munchie? It's definitely gonna... Oh, what a great hospital, man. I love this shit. Hold on, my cat wants to come inside the room. Give me a second. It wasn't the cat that I expected. It was anxiety cat, not scream cat. All right. Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Oh. Thanks. Love that. Okay, you know it's never a good sign when the crouching is toggle, not hold. So that means you're going to be crouching a lot. Here, let me continue the paint job. Fuck those lights. Why do they have to sound like that? Alright, let's go snoop. David Munchie, scan now. Paul, where are you? Got a few hours. I got to hold I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in reception. Are you here? Call me ASAP. David from David Munchie. Get your stuff ready. Hi Paul. Talk to uh, Pace about you using the lab this week. I managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's. She... Paul, okay. Uh... Yeah. 
I booked the scan for tomorrow morning and, on, and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they say we could use the empty reception as kind of an office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models and also if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. Thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We can do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peak will send someone over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Okay, that's me again. Everything's about me, apparently. She's David Munchie. Subject, we're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, no one told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wee, and to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department. I could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note in case we forget. Thank you, Paul. Listen to the sound of these lights. They need to fix these lights. Yeah, those lights are not working. This is the place, right? It must be. Hi, David. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Two five zero oh, one. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. The brain has an amazing trans. Nope. <laughs> has amazing transformative quality. A plasticity that allows itself to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, graduate student in neuroscience at New York University in Toronto. It is less, uh, it is this quality that Berg and his colleague David Munchie, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It is about getting the brain to do the right thing. We hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light meditation. I hate that diagram. Uh, it's about getting the brain to do the right thing. But Munchie and Berg are not looking for a miracle panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They uh, start out recording something called a Nakajima neurography. It's like a picture that in uh, that indicates direction, says the, uh, says Munchie. Instead of static, uh, static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Interesting. Brain with hole, add cube, brain now has no hole, pretty much. So from what I'm understanding, from what this explains, they basically take almost like a a simulation oh there's more in the back simulation of your brain and then do the test on the simulation and then once it's perfected whatever treatment the brain simulation shows to be the correct treatment they then apply to you it's not a long forecast it's about uh it's about millisecond milliseconds but with the right computer model Berg and Munchie can then administer all kinds of treatment without risking actual harm to the brain. We could try giving your brain an overdose of painkillers or running a marathon, suggests Berg. It's just a computer model. We are about to fail treating you in a million times over, only to find the right one. We are about to fail treating you a million times over. What a quote. Thank you. And when they do find the optimal treatment, that's when they apply it to the real patient. Still in the early stages, but when their uh, but their project has caught the attention of Pace Laboratories. Already enjoy dinner. Yeah, that's the health symbol. It doesn't. 
Any possible tunes in the twist? You're right. Uh, it's still another Lucia who's, uh, who has promised to assist them in both equipment and workspace. We are very fortunate to get all the support, says Burke. Now we just need to get out uh, of the limelight and actually do the work. Let's see, it was 2501. 2501. Oh, thanks, game! Thank you. Thanks. I... <sighs> you never want to see... Oh, here's how you run in a horror game. So that means some shit's about to happen. Ooh, locks. First aid kit. That's gonna be the room we have to go in, isn't it? Motherfucker. Fine. I'll go into your spooky computer room. It's all brain stuff. Oh, that didn't give me anything of importance. Uh, actually, hold on one second. No, can't interact with anything here. Oh, humans. Oh, hi. Hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. So, this is gonna be bad. what exactly are we doing? We're gonna do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study, this will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> Else you know, I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. That's a benefit. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. <laughs> this could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. Yeah, I'm going to snoop around for a second. Oh, this is going to be more psychological horror, isn't it? Please, have a seat. Hey, I'm taking my time, all right? Oh, yeah, okay, so... Well, I'm Please guessing... don't touch anything. Come on, let's do this. I'm guessing you've already seen this game? I know nothing about this game. Uh... Just have a seat and we'll be out of here in no time. I'm 100% going to be the brain that's getting fucked with, isn't it? Are you playing a baby 
mode? No, I'm not playing in baby mode. <laughs> I'm gonna see my head. Otherwise, I don't want to be scared. Shut up. Don't call me out like that. Yeah, no baby mode allowed. All right. Let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada. David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. Version 6. Oh, there's yeah. something that's going to come out All of that. Thousand one. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Cheese. Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? This isn't funny. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in... This is kind of stressing me out. Hey! Anyone? What the hell is this place? How did I get here? I can figure this out. I just need to stay calm. All right. We'll walk camera off from the service console. Worse. Service console. Okay. Diving suits. It's our Omni tool to access. Yeah, I got that. Omni tool to access, so I need an Omni tool. You guys got an Omni tool? I see an Omni tool. Same boots, though. Ah, okay. Got it. Oh, that just completely fell off. I feel like this place has seen better days. You got the boots with all of the fur. Oh, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comms now. How did I do that? I don't think I heard all of it's that. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comms out. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. 
Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. That's strange. Hmm. That black icker doesn't look super healthy. Right beef. I should be snooping around so much. Alright, space barnacles, love that. Things are getting a bit glitchy. Doesn't sound good. Of course, there's leaning in this game. Can't promise I'll be using that too much. Ah, uh, fine. I, I'm not a fan of uh, any of this, if I'm being entirely honest. Oh, you will be leaning. I'm not so sure about that. Leaning will save my life. Okay, if I'm ever getting chased by something, I'll just... Why is it telling me to crouch? I don't like it when it tells me to do things. Why is my screen glitching? Fuck off with the random noises game. There is nothing over here. Actually. No, 
I don't trust myself with that close. Got the Omni tool. You can figure out where you are, other things can figure out where you are. You right. The Omni tool is an advanced uh, interface for. Excuse me, game. I'm trying to read. Don't make ominous noises while I'm reading. For accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems, the onboard intelligence includes. The open set of behaviors and pr protocols for to enable the user to automatic user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Over time, the Omni tool will automatically update its programs to cover subconscious behavior, to optimize work, and minimize user error. The Omni tool is a short-range signal, useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omni tool should be physically connected to a workstation or a terminal. To upgrade to your device, simply slide operators into the main or auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard connector, which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omni tool. Note the introduction of an of an on additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. Okay. Say I won't use lean, and I proceed to use lean every chance I get. Why are you making music stings at me, game? If there's nothing there, there's no point for these music stings. They're random. They have no meaning. That doesn't do anything. The door's broken. up to three, including... Pilot seed activated. Oh, you have my name. Love that for me. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm going to yell at the game a lot. You guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that on the tool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. I'm gonna be yelling at the game a, a lot. You're an engineer for crying out loud. I'm not an engineer. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. <laughs> I have a lot of issues, John. Wait, can I have my Om Omni tool back? Um, well, that's happening. I'll look over here. 
Pilot seat, number three. Understandable. Alright, 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 alright. Helpful. Reports. Pir uh, pilot Carl Semkin. Support Amy Azoro. Vehicle Tugger. Task replace heat shield. Southern flu. Result success. Production restored. Note Semkin reported on characteristics levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnosis shows a spike in electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Semkin's systems. No indication of what's causing this anomaly. Attention, the pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's used it in the last couple months have been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin, uh, Gavin was knocked unconscious for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper cluster. My dad made this game. That's what the monster won't be lethal because they got the fear god in you. I know. Uh, this is not acceptable. We'll, we'll figure this out. But for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you'll have to do some heavy lifting, perform the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Alright, Jane. Can I have my Omni tool back? Security cipher updated. Hello, Helper Jane. You gonna be helping me? Please help me. Can I have one of these suits now? No? I feel a tiny bit safer with one of those suits. baby. Do not need to hurt me. I am quite objectively just baby. do that yet. I don't want to go down there either. Thank you, Jane. Fuck this, too. This is back. Hmm. I remember this being on its hinges. Alright. 
brain is just bleeding. This doesn't seem very conducive to help with that, you know? least be able to, you know, shoot the monster? Fine, you have decades to remember it? No, I don't. That's if the process goes well. This doesn't feel like the process went well. What are you saying? Ow! Okay. Don't press the shocky button. Don't touch that. What was that? Why would you touch that, David? It doesn't do Ah, uh, vents, of course, vents. Why not vents, you know? That's what we need. Why can't this be one of those horror games where I get a gun and I get to shoot people with it? Can my Omni tool turn to a gawk block, please? I would like that. Okay, I can't lean down here. is going to do anything to a monster. Oh cool, a game autosave. That totally means I'm not going to die. Yep, that looks healthy. healthy. Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can't confirm its effects on WAO or WAU. Issue will port issues. Alright, All right, get out of that. Hey, can you hear me? my first person. Oh, your sacrifice didn't go in vain. I have light. Can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. 
in the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Ah, oh, signal... Oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh some place dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh... Yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Helpful. That's all fine. Yep, nothing else. I can't imagine whatever is in here is too hyped about me killing a robot, but you know, whatever. I guess I'm going down here, thank you. <laughs> heading for me. You're not patrolling or anything. You're just going for me. I know this game, thank you. <laughs> Alright, that monster's not too bad. Okay, uh, I'm guessing that place isn't actually important. Cool, no matter what direction I go, I'm always falling. Yeah, that place isn't important. Alright. I don't know if stealth is an option, or if he always just beelines it for you. I 
because he attracted a noise. No, no, he's most definitely not attracted to noise. He is just coming for me. Oh, fine, another dead end. That because I was in his light? It might have been his light. It probably was his light. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll be releasing the rest of Soma pretty soon. Uh, all in these little bite-sized bits.